Welcome back to Sim Project Everybody. Just doing a little VFR flying here in the Cirrus. And uh, if you saw my last video where I talked about the uh, touchscreen panel setup, um, I touched briefly on how I get so many monitors to work. As you can see, I have uh, six screens running. So we've got uh, the three primaries for the main outside view. We've got a G1000. Uh, this is displaying a G1000 right now, even though it's a G1500 screen. And uh, that screen over there, that's actually coming off my secondary computer. And uh, down there on the floor, not using it tonight, that's the Garmin, uh, that's the 580, I believe is what those things are. And uh, I'm in the Cirrus. And of course, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, we're still using Generation 6 of the Cirrus. Don't have the G7 yet, which gives you the Garmin touchscreens. But yeah, uh, I want to touch on how I make all these extra screens work. So let me take you around behind the sim and I'll show you. Okay, back here behind the uh, simulator. And it's a little dark, I apologize. My little RGB fan, that was part of the case. I didn't buy that. But uh, yeah, anyways, so here's the three primary screens right here. Those uh, cables, they go into the 4060 card. Uh, this one here is off the Garmin touchscreen. It's going to the onboard Intel card. I did turn it back on. Doesn't use a whole lot of resources and I do have 64 gig of RAM in this computer, so there's a little bit to spare to run that. Very low processing power to run those little touch screens. But the Garmin screens run off this guy right here. This is called a pluggable. I got two HDMI ports, so this is 1080 at uh, 60 hertz, so we can get up to 60 frames a second if we want to. And it is simply USB. Now it needs a USB 3 port. And it's a USB-A, but it does come with a USB-A to USB-C adapter uh, attached to it. Um, in case you're using a laptop or anything like that. But yeah, so like I said, it has to be USB 3. And if you don't know, you can tell those on your computer. They're the blue USB ports. And probably can't see this, but this one up here, that's a white port. So that's going to be USB 2. And down in behind there, there's another one neck between the network cable and the pluggable cord. That's a, a blue USB port, and that's the USB 3. So yeah, that's all it is. That's the box it came in. It's only, you know, three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, I think I paid like 49 bucks on Amazon for it, something like that. Um, I put a link in it, but I'm in Canada, so any links I'm going to give you are for Amazon, you know, Canada, of course. But yeah, pluggable. Easy to find. USB, basically a USB video card. And uh, it runs the two Garmin screens. No problem whatsoever, and I do not see a frame rate hit at all or performance on the uh, primary screens. Anyways, that's it. Quick little uh, two-minute video on how to run some extra screens, low-priority screens, of course, for building your cockpit. Anyways, appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.